I had never experienced or I had never seen what they call bed space. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the very first time I saw a bed space was when I got into the UAE. Okay. And, but thank God I didn't stay in a bed space. Okay. When I came, I spent, um, I arrived UAE in the morning. So that and you just want to stay there. Mm -hmm. The truth is we always have to aim high in life. We yeah. don't need to stay in the same position. Yeah. If you want to grow in life, you want to evolve in life. I said it before, meet the right people. Yeah. Meet the right people to mm -hmm. put you through. Mm -hmm. If you don't meet the right people, definitely you are always going to be where you have always Within. been. Yeah. So you always meet the right people. When you came to Dubai, where you are working today, that's not where you were working. Yeah, definitely. But you had to take that, that first job because at least you wanted to integrate yourself, mm -hmm. right? And after you had integrated yourself, you know the country, you know, your, your certificates now are speaking for you. Mm -hmm. You had to like look for something better. Yeah. And that's why you are where you are today. Definitely. Same thing with me, same thing with so many other people, but some people, they go, on the internet and they say lots of things about Dubai. Dubai, we said it initially mm -hmm. at the beginning of our video, it's a land of opportunities. Yeah. So many people have made it in this country. So many Africans. So many Africans and are even living very big. Yeah, and the truth is those that have made it, honestly, let's, let's come to the facts. Those Africans that have made it do not even want to interact. Yes. Right. Yeah, because you don't want to spoil your reputation. I was saying something, okay, me and Laura, the other video, we were saying something that we are so loud as Afri West Africans, like, we just want to hold the board yeah. for the wrongdoing. Yeah. Yeah, so... You, you come to a country, they have their rules and regulations. You follow, follow them. Yeah. You have to follow. Mm -hmm. If they say don't, for example, don't sell alcohol, don't, don't sell alcohol. alcohol. Yeah, definitely. Don't keep late night moving in the streets aimlessly without you having anything to do. Of course, you will get into problems when the definitely. police find you. Mm -hmm. So those those are the things that are making us think, we think that Dubai is not a good, it seems a good place. Okay, because one time I was saying something the other day with someone, I said, when they say tack, just tack exactly. in the bus. Okay, I was in the bus and then they, they came, the guy did not talk and they came to check and he did not have, his money was not, sometimes you have the temptation as a yeah. human to do yeah. it, especially yeah. maybe when the, the filling machine is not close by where you want to enter, the, enter bus. the bus. So you have the temptation, but don't do it like it's something that, ah, let me just enter now. Yeah. No. Yeah. Because and there are people who do that, ah, let me just let enter. Let me just enter. Yeah. Because even if you're in your home country, you cannot even get into a bus without paying <laughs> the bus conductor his money. You cannot. Of course. So, he entered and the controller came and they, they had to remove him. They were like, they were like, okay, you don't you your boss signals low pause. pause. Calm down. He he refused coming down. He said he will not come down. He removed the, the, the fine and gave them that you should take their money and take their money. Now. I was so mm -hmm. mad. And I this was, is why Africans are having problems, problems in this part of the world. Yes. Done something that is wrong and they are trying to talk to you. Just simply go down, just for the fact that you have you have not tacked in, has to make you to go down. Go it's down not your father's house. Yes. For you to just sit. Sit. And you are thinking that you take the money now. Your you people are out here looking for money. Just take the money. Oh I'm God. just like, please, okay. just go down. This respect. person is from West Africa. He was an African guy. I don't. Okay. I don't. I don't even want. I said just respect them. Calm down. If you've not tapped, this is the problem. Rules and regulation. Then we don't this, follow it. These are some of the problems we have. Yeah. Any other problem that people are showcasing that is not right? Africans are showcasing that is not right. Of course, alcohol. Mm -hmm. Alcohol <laughs> is the biggest issue I can see, and some people going out to fight. You know, they even kill themselves. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to say this short story because it has to do with my place of work. Mm -hmm. There is this guy my company did visa for mm -hmm. and he came in as um, a general helper. Mm -hmm. And um, he decided to go and join this cult group. Mm -hmm. And somewhere there at, um, how do you call this Emirates after Ajman? Umar Queen. Mm -hmm. 
at Umar Queen, they were fighting among themselves mm -hmm. and they had to kill him. They opened his stomach from up to down. Yes, I saw the video. I could not even retain it on my phone. I deleted it immediately. His intestines came out. Mm -hmm. They had taken alcohol and they were fighting about girlfriend issues. These people, this one has taken my girlfriend. No, this girl is supposed to be this one's own and this other person has taken and they were all drunk. So he lost his life, life because definitely. of you know, some crazy things like that. Mm -hmm. And then the friends mm -hmm. with whom they were fighting, they mm -hmm. sell alcohol. Mm -hmm. And they met them with bags of alcohol. My area where I live, actually, it's a very, it's, it's, it's a nice neighborhood, but a little bit far away from me, mm -hmm. um, you had some guys who used to stand on the road, street wow. side on the road, and they sell alcohol. Okay, because one of my guests said they were going for vacation. One of my guests that was here, he said they were going for a short, like, uh, vacation. Yeah. And someone said, oh, let's just pack alcohol to take there. And he said, please, can we be known for something good? Yeah. Can we just be known for something good? Yeah. Because we, we fail to understand that when one person, two people, three people do something, is the whole community that is being affected. Exactly. And if we are saying today, oh, we have issues here in this part of the world, is because the people, some people have just taken upon themselves not to behave, behave, behave properly. Well, yeah. And it's that's why we are, we, are, we, are act, we are being some of the good ones, because majority are good people. Yeah. Some of the good ones that really want to make up, make, make life out, out of this place. Yes. Serious yeah. with their work. Like yeah. presently, yeah. how many African countries have been, I think 21 African countries, mm -hmm. Cameroon included, uh -huh. yeah, and why? Because we, we have to be grateful. This yeah. is one of the countries where their visa is like to, to get. get. Definitely. It is like this to get. Yeah. No complications. You don't go through the embassy or consulate for any interview. Definitely. And I think they should even implement the system. Definitely. Yes, to stop all of these radicals who are coming into the country to paint other people black, Definitely. you understand? Mm -hmm. So you come here, it is easy for you to get your visa. You get your visa, you come and you get a job, then your visit visa will be changed to a work visa. Mm -hmm. But because of these fightings and things, killings yeah. and alcohol and all of these things, now other people who are really ready to work, work in the country, yeah, they, cannot, they are being affected. They are being affected. Yes, they are being affected. So I think... We, we need to change. You go to another person's country, prove yeah. yourself worthy Worth it. Yeah. staying in that country. Yeah, I was saying before that I will never speak bad about the United Arab Emirates for yes, no one reason. for no reason. Because even with what I went through, you know what I went through in this country, yeah. but there was never a day I spoke evil, evil about, this, about land. this land. I'm yeah. always on the part of you cannot say evil about a soil and you expect that soil to produce, to produce for you. It for will you. never. If you see people that have been successful in this country are people that will never speak bad about it. Yeah. I will not speak bad about this country because I had my first employment in this country. Mm -hmm. I left school and I was roaming in my country because what? in my country, if you don't have father that had knows somebody that knows somebody that knows another person, then you, you can, can get have a all job. the degrees and everything, but you still be relegated to the, uh, the background. Yeah. You understand me? Yeah. So here, it was not like I need to do too much, right, mm -hmm. to get to where I am. Mm -hmm. I said in my first, my other video, I said, I, I have, in total, when I stopped counting, I had up to like 1,550 applications are made in the in this country and someone asked me because i was discussing someone the person asked me what was like the amount of interviews you had i said no i will not want to put it out there because the conversion rate is very very low but i kept on fighting for a better life and there's definitely no way that i spoke anything that was bad about this place because i know for sure that it worked for other people and UAE works for other people. Yes. I've met Africans, Cameroonians, yes. Nigerians that are making it big time here. And those people that have made it big time, they, they don't want to rob themselves. They don't want to rob themselves. Yeah. Definitely. I have my Botswana friends. Yeah. The man is a captain. He's mm -hmm. flight captain. Mm -hmm. The wife the same. Yeah. And they are living big. big yeah. Very big. Very big. Why would they want to go down to this level of interacting with people who are going to put them in trouble? Definitely. It's not like they are proud. I think you know them. I know them, yeah. It's Very not down like to earth. down to earth. They'll yeah. rub shoulders with people who respect themselves. Of course. They Definitely. wouldn't want to dirty themselves or spoil their reputation. Yes. It's not like they are being proud. Yeah. So that's so just I, it. I said, what, what did these people do to make it in this land? Mm. So I had to walk up to that. 
if it means going to or online schools to have some certificates, that skill is based that certificates is to yeah. make myself up. I did it. Exactly. I did it. Some of us are lucky, or some people are lucky that some companies will even hire you with no skills. And with no skills. And then, you. exactly, you learn f and while you're working. Someone told me that it will not even happen in Europe sometimes that a company will hire you and maybe you're, you are lacking in a, a particular thing. They will send you for training. Some some companies in there in where you are they, craving they, to they go. Also, they also do in Europe. They do. They can hire you and then send you out for training. Okay. They do. But and what I'm trying to say in NS is in the UAE, right? Mm -hmm. It accepts everybody with every qualification. Yeah. You can yeah. be with just a high school or ordinary level. Some people don't even have, but they are admin assistants. Yes. Just for the fact that you know how to speak English. English. You know how to write yeah. good sentences. Yeah. You definitely you can make read it. and all that. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, in can. Europe, if you don't have the capacity, the capacity. of. of of having a, a particular academic background, mm -hmm. you will not. There, there are some places that some people who just certificates have, have earned, yeah. of which definitely in Europe you will not have that. Yeah. So that's what I'm trying to say about the trainings. You understand me? I know it happens there, but you see someone that maybe you know that person. Okay, the person has just a high school, or the person has just an ordinary level. But definitely, the company has hired the person maybe for a personal assistant, and they are flying the person out to go and do yeah. training. Mm. It happens a lot. Yeah. So it's it's about you knowing who you are first ah, of all. And that, know, that's what I said. You have I to know, know who you are. Know what works for you. Exactly. Because sometimes we don't even know what works for you. I was mm. telling Laura the other day in the other video that I know what works for me. I need to really sit down squarely and draw up my CV to the it. Right? Because referrals don't work for me. We have the tendency as Africans, we just, hey, do you have somebody that works there? You are telling someone that apply here and the person is asking you, do you have someone mm. or do you know someone that works there? Yeah. I was telling someone that I've never known so, in all the companies I've worked for, and trust me when I tell you, I've You've never for known big, somebody yeah. big places. Mm -hmm. I've never known someone there. I just go there, I put my A game, like my A game. I've been in, 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 in interviews that I was interviewed by five people. They call it the panel interview. Panel, I was yeah. interviewed by five people, right? And I was an A list candidate for the job, and they gave me the job. Mm -hmm. Because, course. first of all, Let's say it, mommy. Some people don't have the communication skills. Skill, that is one thing. That's that's one thing. That's we don't have thing. it. Yeah. Because you can't no, eh, the, and then another thing is presentation. Like the, our presentation is yak. Very yak, your presentation, yak. your body language, the way you even yak sit and talk with your the person the, conducting the, the interview. interview. Like seriously, yeah. if I really have that company, I was saying so in my other video, I say, if I really have that company in my life, because when they, when they call me for an interview, I go and screw the, the, the company's name mm -hmm. on Google, mm -hmm. and I know for sure that, okay, the company is into this, 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 this. I know who is running the company. company. I know who is yeah, the, maybe exactly. the CEO. Whatever, whatever. I yeah. put my, if I really want to work there, trust me, I put my A game. I know what works for me. I know that face-to-face -face interview works for me. Mm -hmm. Online interview, if I'm, they call me for an, if they tell me, oh, we're going to have an interview on Teams, I know I will not make it because I'm not good with we cameras. We are not good with cameras, yeah. Because but face to face interview, I that's am super. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like face to face, if they call me for face to face, except I'm just like, let me go and see what they have to say. But if it's in me that that job, the salary is really, really good. To the core, yeah. And the working culture is good. Mm. If I really wanted baby girl or baby boy, I will have it. Of course. That's what I have put in my mind. Of course. So, and about the, our grooming too. Let's talk about it because I know for sure they will match me because I always talk about the grooming. Like, we need to work on our grooming as So Afia. much. So much. Mm -hmm. So much, really. You see the way you look? Mm hmm. Some people are called for interview. I have interviewed people who came to our office with bedroom, bathroom slippers mm -hmm. or some funny sandals and uh, the destroyed jeans. Is the destroyed jeans that is, is working my head sometimes. Yeah, the destroyed jeans and a t-shirt that is not, you, are, you look so unkempt. Mm -hmm. Your hair is not even, you didn't comb your hair. It's like you woke up from bed and you are going for you an interview. You just told me there was an interview. And, you and just then you're just rushing to rushing. go for the interview. Yeah. So 
the really we have to groom ourselves mm -hmm. before because your presentation matters. matters yeah definitely your presentation matters you don't just go to a place where they want you to walk and you go as if you are going to a farm <laughs> who is going to hire you who will take you oh my god yeah we have to really we have to we'll work on, on ourselves our yeah on we have zone. to work on ourselves africans mm -hmm. this is one thing smell good just mm. We are in a country where you have day to day. Mm -hmm. They sell very cheap things, mm -hmm. good and cheap. Mm -hmm. Wear your roll on, put a little bit of perfume. You enter an office, you smell good, you look good, clean. That first impression it counts. It counts, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it counts. They may some people have only because of the way they the look. Dress, yeah. They got a job. They, they got a job. Yeah, only because of the way they looked, they got a job. Definitely. But some others too, you go like you. I don't know. You are going to one village in your country. Actually, that is would... that is one thing that yes. kills us in this. Uh -huh. in, so you would know. you do you wherever have... we wherever we go? Not only in the UAE. Uh -huh. It's it's not only happening here. Wherever we go, in Europe you have um, places where people go to work. They call it like fabric, uh -huh. like in factories. Yeah. Yeah. You see it maybe um, warehouse. You pack and unpack, load and on, on, off load and all of these things. Uh -huh. And these companies are owned by Turkish people, nothing against the Turkish, mm -hmm. but they don't care. They only want you to work oh, and yeah, then yeah, mm -hmm. do their production, pack their things that they want, their goods are going, mm -hmm. and then they make their money. Mm -hmm. So you go, no matter how you dress, no matter how you look, yeah. they take you for yeah, this job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you cannot want to go and work as a waiter or a waitress, receptionist, you receptionist or assistant. sales admin assistant, you want to do work in an office and you look so shabby going for an interview. Mm -hmm. It's we really have to work on ourselves about this. Okay, yeah. perfect. So do you have any other advice that you want to throw out there to them? What other advice I can say is just that let us be good when we leave our countries to go to other people's mm -hmm. country, mm -hmm. we have to at least we have to be good. Definitely. We have to make them believe that the purpose for which we came to their country mm -hmm. is really for that purpose. It's for good. Yeah. Yes, it's for good. You don't go to another man's country because even in Cameroon, our country, they say we are from third world, right? Mm -hmm. But we have rules and regulations Delicious, that yeah. are being that are supposed to be followed. If you violate some of the laws, of course, you'll be taken to sell or the police are going to keep you somewhere mm -hmm. so if we have to come to another a, month's life a developed place like this where you are even opportune to at least make your life better, better yeah opportune to make your life better yeah. because one of my guests said uae is a place where you can walk into a restaurant and meet samuel Leto. you can walk into a rest yes. restaurant and meet drug bar drug if you're working in the hospitality sector in a very big maybe hospitality mm -hmm. brand mm -hmm. you can even be the housekeeper mm -hmm. to drug bar you can yeah. even be the housekeeper to, to ronaldo. Yeah, ronaldo so yeah, all of it's, this. and definitely you behave well you have money from them we just and need to be well behaved so definitely yeah compose yourself yeah mm -hmm. be focused mm -hmm. the purpose for which you came follow that purpose yeah. just do what you came to do uh -huh. and be good keep to their rules and regulations i think your life is going to be better would you say that environment because we all we had this talk with some other people about where you stay yeah. do you think that where you stay can influence yes it how influences you be, people how you how you turn out and this is one thing with africans thank you for bringing this up yeah thank you this is one thing with africans when we go to a country we want to live only where africans That's are living even, yeah you can never grow Definitely. You can never grow. Because we Africans, eh, let me cut you in, because we Africans, we have the tendency of hiding information. Yeah. Because the more you really want to stay in Abu Hill, the more you'll be concealed in that area because you will not have, even if someone has a very good information, they will, they will keep it to they themselves. They will keep it to themselves. They will not tell you. They will not tell you. When I started, like, it's okay to start in Abu Hill. We are not trying to badge it. Because no. some of us, I started there. Of course. But when I got a job and I was like, I can't be I can't be here. Yeah. I had to move. Yeah. I had to move. Yeah. And at the time when I moved, I saw that my <clears throat> life started small, small. It was going up. Going up. Yeah, yeah. Because you see, mm -hmm. traveling is education. Definitely. When you travel, there are people you meet and they will change your life for Definitely. you. But when you are in the same this circle mm -hmm. of people who are not aspired in doing anything good. Mm -hmm. We said it before, some people come here, they will work as security guards, 
for the even if they have to stay here for 10 years they are security guards yeah. some are cleaners and they are not aspired in doing anything now, to improve themselves now all this what you do know and you are staying with people who cannot encourage, encourage you. you everyone yeah everyone has choose a your friends mm -hmm. choose your friends it's you choosing your friends is not because you are proud it's because you want to make your life better, better definitely because if you even have friends who are more than you age wise education wise and all of this they teach you things you don't know and that's how you learn yeah, definitely and then you forge ahead but yeah. if you move with people who are not aspired in doing anything good they just want to be where they are then you are going to be in that same position like them definitely so so the only advice is people should wake up from their slumber, slumber. definitely we should including myself i'm not excluding yeah. myself yet now I forge to meet people who are right up there because I want my life to be better. As Definitely the years are going, going by, by, I want to be better. I want to go every time, one step ahead, ahead yeah. one step ahead. That's life. That's so how life. That's is how life to be. is supposed to be. Yeah. Create yes. the fast process because sometimes when people just come here, I really do. they've seen someone that has been here twenty years and they want to just be like that person overnight. It, it doesn't really happen overnight. Yeah. Make no, sure that. As the years pass by, you are working on yourself. You are working trying on yourself to improve. And trying to improve yes, yourself. Definitely. Yourself in everything you do, you try to improve yeah. yourself. Yeah, yeah, definitely. With the experiences you've had and everything, would you advise someone to come to the UAE? Yes. Why not? Why would you advise them? Because to come to the UAE? UAE is a land of opportunities, and if you come here knowing what you want, you want definitely, you are going to make it. Mm -hmm. I would advise people to come to the UAE. There are. Other people who are saying that, oh, it's of no use coming here, though um, there are some things that are not favorable to mm -hmm. foreigners, mm -hmm. but saying all that, it still doesn't matter. Because sometimes when people want to play the race card, of course, of course, but the but UAE is, is changing as well. Recently, they are, they, recently they are, they've given um, the opportunity for people to um like they they are going to be paying your pension yeah. something like yeah. that mm -hmm. yes i think i read it in the news golf news or yeah, something yeah, I read it. I saw where it if you are working and then maybe you your job is gone you don't have a job anymore they pay you 60 percent of your income yeah. every month the only thing i know i don't know is i don't know how long don't, they can do that pay, yeah. yeah because these are some of the advantages like in europe mm -hmm. if you are not working and you've been working before and maybe your job your company got Close, a problem it closed down yeah. or something you are always on an allowance. Okay. So for here, I don't know how long that's going to take. I don't know how um, long. Okay. But I would always advise people to come. Because the truth Be is... Be of good conduct. Not, yeah. Come so, and look for a job and do your job. Don't get yourself into any criminal act. Mm -hmm. You are going to live peacefully in this Okay, because I really world. wanted to ask. Because you see people say, Oh, I can never advise someone to come here. So I really... Because I, I know for sure that life is behead. What happens for me yeah. will not definitely not happen, happen for to you. another person. Yeah. And the the way my life takes to evolve is definitely mm -hmm. not the same way your own life will take to evolve. So mm -hmm. I always advise someone to come here. Why not? That's because what I just said. The the pain I see, I know that if my younger sister comes here, definitely maybe her own story is going definitely going to be different. Mm -hmm. So but if you really want to to if you really want to remain where you are, then it's it's really up to you because yeah, it's up to you. Yeah, that's up it. to you. Yeah, that's right. Do you that's have anything it. to chip in? Uh, what else am I going to say? UA is a nice place for anybody who would want to come and do the right thing. UA is a nice and, place. And okay, I was trying to say again that would you just advise anybody to come because that's the problem. Not just any, have. not just anybody. Okay, so because some people will just come. We, we are not saying that you must acquire a lot of degrees before coming. No. no. But at least, no is. You understand? Yes, at least you can defend mm -hmm. yourself. Mm -hmm. Little things, just the basics. Mm -hmm. You know, there are some basic questions that they may ask you. You can be able to at are. least make a clear sentence. You know your name. You know your name. You can spell Tell your name. name. Yeah. I've, I've, I've met someone who could not spell his name. Yeah, but a cleaner, trust me. See, it's yeah, a very, you go through an interview. Even as a cleaner, you go through an interview. It's a computerized country. Yes. Which, even if you're a cleaner, when you finish cleaning, you have to look at your name and tick. tick. That, okay, I've cleaned mm. this time. You write the today's date, oh, the you time. sign yeah. and the time You need and all to that. know. So if you don't know, is, how did this IS? Is that how they spell is? Yes. <laughs> 
then definitely it's <laughs> going to be difficult we are laughing, for you. No. We are laughing, but it's not like we are mocking people. Is. Yes, no. IS. 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 Yeah, IS. Yes. So that's IS. So if you don't know that IS, it's going to. <laughs> then you are going to be hard. having problems. Yeah. It's going to be hard for you. Yeah, Seriously. So we are laughing, but it's a very, it's a very important point mm -hmm. to keep in mind. Mm -hmm. You don't just wake up because you have the money to travel. You just pick up your bags and travel because that's where some people's trouble start. Because even if you're, you think, oh, I'm just going to do this one, do this one, you still Most need people to do who come here, they are not well advised. Mm -hmm, they definitely. don't give them the right advice before coming. At least tell somebody, this is the condition of this country mm -hmm. you want to go. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you, you can will, do it? Do are you yeah. sure you can go there and succeed? Yeah. You, if you didn't go to school, there is no need for you to come. Mm -hmm. If you've gone to school maybe with ordinary levels, advanced. Or degree, even lower. There are some people who can really defend themselves. Selves, that even without one, ordinary levels. Yes. They can defend themselves, and if you come here with a GCE um, um, ordinary level, you can walk. Yes, definitely. We, we, we don't always have to think that. Oh, it's okay, just a master's degree. Yes. It's just no, this, no. With ordinary levels, you can walk. I mean, good job. Yeah. Just, it all depends on how, how you, you can, can defend yourself. Self, how you can communicate. Yes, how you can communicate. Mm -hmm. how, how you can present yourself mm -hmm. to your company. They are going to to the company that's interviewing you. I mean, they are going to hire you. They are going to hire you. Yeah. Oh. Everything said and done. Okay. UAE is a nice place. Definitely. It's Tell a nice them place. because we have a lot of. We are not trying to debunk anything, but no. some of us have come here. We went through the eye. If you've seen my other videos, we went through the eye, and really. We were so determined to make it. We held our heads high, high. to high. make it. Yeah. And some of us have really made it big yeah. time. Mm -hmm. And some of us are still climbing. Climbing gradually. We are not and, relenting. And then we get there. We yeah. are not no, relenting. No one is relenting. Yeah. So first of all, stop talking ill about the place. Mm -hmm. Because you, you, you leave your country. Because we have this, I don't want to say, but it seems like we have this um, entitled mentality. You leave your country, you don't, you don't have a white collar job in your country. You, you want to come and do a white collar, collar job. job, exactly. Yeah. Ah. You leave your country ending maybe 25,000 francs mm -hmm. CFA. Mm -hmm. There are people who end that little. Uh, of course, yeah. And you come here and they are giving you 1,000 dirhams for a start. Mm -hmm. That's about a hundred and something thousand mm -hmm. francs. You don't pay rent mm -hmm. and you are complaining that the money is small. You know, we always start from somewhere, somewhere. to get to oh, somewhere. Yeah. Important. yeah, it's not everybody that yeah. has that law to yeah. just come and, and have it at once. Mm -hmm. Some people, you have to work yeah. gradually, gradually, step by step. To get to that level where you yeah. would want to be. Yeah. yeah. And she is an example. Yes. She's an example. She didn't start from right down there, but she started somewhere in the middle and today she's up there. So that's just yeah, it. Yeah, so that's just life, okay? Don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged and don't talk. So evil. long as you're alive, you should mm -hmm. have hopes. Yeah. Things will be okay. Definitely. Yeah. All right, so you've heard her from an experience point of view and from a mother's point of view. Yeah. So just stay in there, lock on to hope because that's all you need mm -hmm. and stop speaking evil about a place that you want blessings from because yeah. definitely our tongues are so dangerous if you don't know that very, you know that for dangerous. me today yeah. so mind what you say so it should start working for you, for you. Exactly. yeah so right now we come to an end of this episode hope that you really did enjoy it mm -hmm. and stay for more so if you're looking and thinking wondering that who is this beautiful sister here my name is Naomi T live and direct from the city of light the city of blinks dubai united arab emirates mm -hmm. and if you are wondering to join my community click on the red subscribe button to join my community i'll be bringing you so many juicy topics and juicy chats on yeah. different trendy topics as well as experiences in the uae mm -hmm. as well as lifestyle yeah. so stay tuned to me okay don't go anywhere and on now we say Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Peace Bye. out. Bye.